grape soda. Taking a little drink break. Give you a little clue as to what I'm making today. Hi, my name is Tony, AKA Disney Mama. And if you haven't figured it out by now, by the grape soda, I am making a pair of Up Inspired Ears. You guys, these are adorable. You've gotta stick around and watch how these are made. First step in making our ears today, I've got some sticky foam and I have already cut out a template of how big I wanted my mini ears to be. And I'm just gonna set this down. Um, I got this cardboard from an Amazon box and I'm just gonna set this down on our foam, trace it with a marker like so. And then I'm gonna take my headband and I'm gonna put it underneath the circle and make a little mark, just like so. That's about how wide we want the space between the two circles to be. So then you're gonna set your other circle down and you're gonna trace it. And I'm not gonna go in super depth about this technique. I did make another video um, using this technique and I will put that in the description box below. Then you're gonna connect these two circles just like this. You're gonna cut these out. Here you'll see I've connected the two circles and you'll see why in a moment when we get um, putting them together. You're gonna cut this out and then I'm gonna take that and then trace it over here. Okay? So, gosh, my nose is tickly. So yeah, Disney's Pixar Up. That's what we're going for today. And it's Pixar's 11th animated film, 11. I didn't know that it was number 11. It seemed like it was further down the line than that, but it's kind of sandwiched in the middle. One of my favorite movies, and with all this Pixar stuff going on with Pixar Pier opening up in Disneyland and then Toy Story Land opening in Walt Disney World, I am feeling the Pixar spirit. So you have some batting here. This batting is um, used for, yeah, used for quilts um, or whatever you wanna do it with. Today, we're obviously we're using for mini ears. You're gonna lay this down. You're gonna take your template. This, um, oh, I lost my marker. Where'd you go? Marker, here it is. You're gonna take your marker. You're gonna lay down your template. So it's the same size as the ears itself. And you're gonna trace this. You need four of these. So continue one, two, three, four, and then cut these suckers out too. If you haven't noticed, if you're an Up fan, I'm Disney bounding today as Kevin. And Disney bounding just means that you take your favorite characters and you look in your closet and you just find something that works for you, that works, that matches the character. A lot of people like to Disney bound in Disneyland and Walt Disney World because you can't wear costumes in the park. They don't want people confusing you with the real characters. So you're not allowed to do any cosplay in the parks. And so Disney bounding is a huge thing right now. So like I said, you're gonna cut these out. I've got some fabric here that I thought looked like the sky. I picked this up at Joann's. It's a really soft fabric. I think it's the kind of fabric that you would make like a baby blanket out of. I looked far and wide for fabric that had clouds on it. And I felt like one fabric I picked up was just too cartoony. So I like this. And we're going to glue some clouds on it a little later with that batting that we're using for the inside of the ears. So you're gonna put this with the picture side down and then you're going to take these cutouts that we've made and you're gonna set them down on the fabric and you're gonna trace these and then cut these out. But a little thing you're gonna do differently though is you're going to make, you're not gonna trace it right up to the, to the ears you're gonna give about a half inch around it because we're gonna glue this fabric with our hot glue onto these circles. So you wanna make it a little bit bigger, like I said, about a half inch bigger than your circles. 
I have never seen this technique done before. I'm not saying that it hasn't happened before, but I've never seen this technique on a YouTube video or on Pinterest. So I'm patenting this puppy right now. <laughs> I don't know if I can patent it just by verbally saying it, but you know, I'm patenting it. And so yes, like I said, half inch, keep tracing, keep tracing. Okay, and there we go. So I'm gonna hold this up so you can see. Can you see that these are slightly bigger than the ears? And you need that extra fabric so you can fold it in and glue it. So let's cut these out now. You need some sharp scissors too. If you try to cut with regular kitchen scissors or something, you're just gonna be like, <laughs> and it's like never gonna cut. You're just gonna be like, <laughs> and it's like never gonna cut. It sounded like a cat with a hairball. <laughs> Not sure why I made that sound, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, here we go, cutting it out. Okay, let's just kind of reassess where we're at now in what we've done so far. So far we've cut out two of the sticky foam uh, like I said, it looks kind of like a number eight or something. And then we've traced that onto our cloudy fabric and I've cut that out. We have four bat, 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 why can't I speak? I don't know, you know, why? We have four circles cut from that batting. And then what I didn't show you is, is I cut two cardboard circles that are slightly smaller than the, the ears itself, and I'll show you, just to give the ears a little bit more stability. All right, so now we are going to assemble these, okay? Okay. I apologize if you can hear my children in the background. They're playing Fortnite, and they're like animals in there. Have you guys um, lost your children this summer to Fortnite? Because I have. <laughs> That's all they want to do. Okay, back to the ears. You're going to peel the back off these. Put the batting on. I'm sorry, that Fortnite's got me flustered. <laughs> stick the batting on to the sticky ears, the sticky side. And stick the sticky side down. Sometimes I like to randomly sing. And put the batting on the other ear. I like the sticky foam because it just gives you a hand, you know? I don't have to glue that down. Just gave me a hand. Then stick that down on the other side. This is what we've got so far. And then you do need to hot glue these cardboard pieces in though. Put that right into the center. Like I said, only one on each side. That foam is already pretty stiff. And then adding just that one circle of, um, just one circle of that cardboard will do the trick. Okay, now you need to take your, I keep losing things today, sharp scissors. And you need to make a little slit kind of in these little um, areas here where the, where the two circles are attached. It will just fold in that way better. Just trust me on that. It'll just come in. It'll fold in a little bit better. So make a couple of little slits, right? Like corner to corner. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but corner to corner, make a little slit here because then when you're going to fold it down, can you see this flap here? When you're going to fold it down, it's going to be a much smoother line. Now, what you're going to do is take your hot glue. Hey, that rhymes. What you're going to do is take your hot glue and your, whoa, glue stick. Come on with me, stay with me, glue stick. And you're gonna put the glue around the edge and then a little bit at a time, you're gonna fold this fabric over, okay? You're just gonna fold it over, see, just like this. And you're gonna do that all the way around. And you're gonna pull it tight. You're gonna pull it kind of tight because you don't wanna leave any weird um, pokey edges. Why does hot glue have so many strings? It just drives me crazy. I'll have your hand Look you in your eyes And then you'll know it's true I love you For love of friends For life we've shared For all the moments we've embraced 
Okay, I have glued the fabric all the way around our ears, just like this. And we have um, these little flaps, I guess you wanna call them. You wanna glue the flaps. The flap is a funny word. Who invented the word flap? You're gonna glue these two little flaps together, just like this. And look, you've already got a mini ear going. Isn't that cute? I love it. So cute. So, like I said, wrap it around and glue them. So let's start the gluing process. So I've taken the hot glue and I've secured it to the headband, but the inside of it hasn't been glued yet. So now I'm gonna take hot glue and glue around the edges. I put a little bit in the center and then I don't glue all the way to the edge because then when you squish it together, the glue's gonna come on out. So just keep it away from the edge just slightly, put glue all the way around here and just sandwich these together like a cookie. got so far and I'm gonna flip it to the side and you're gonna see that there's some spaces in there so I'm just gonna stick the nose of my glue gun kind of in through there and just really pinch them together So we finished gluing them and um, as you can see there's kind of a raw edge there I'm going to leave it but if you're not happy with that you can always glue a little ribbon or something around the edge I'll probably end up doing that but for the sake of the speed of this video I'm just gonna go ahead and move forward after you've gone and cut out that those circles out of the batting you're gonna go ahead and have some of this scraps and what you're gonna want to do is cut some cloud shapes out of these scraps. Don't cut into the new stuff, just use these little scraps because the clouds don't need to be very big. I've already done that. I've got a few little clouds here. I've cut, uh, I've cut six, I almost said three, I can't count. I've cut six here, um, so I'm gonna put three on each side. Get your head out of the clouds. Okay, find the side of the ears that you like best. I think it's I think it's gonna be this side. So I'm gonna glue my cloud. No, I think it's gonna be this side. This side it is. This side it is. You're gonna glue your little clouds to your ears. I'll flip it this way so you can see better. Put just a little bit of glue. Don't get crazy with it, or you're gonna see the glue like through the cloud. And just be random with it because clouds are random. Don't be too, don't be too picky as to where your clouds are going. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. To make the bow, I have put little pom-poms in here. You can pick these up anywhere. Dollar Tree, Michael's, Joann's, whatever. And I have to say a little disclaimer. I have seen this bow before. And I believe it was at, um, it was on Shop Disney's website. And they have an up inspired bow and I really wanted to try to recreate that and I thought how am I going to I thought about taking like some clear um, this is called organza I do believe but like some tool or something you know and try to sew it or glue it and I thought this is gonna be messy you're gonna see the glue I don't sew and a lot of my viewers don't so I want to make something easy and I saw these organza bags these were in the wedding section at Michael's and they are a drawstring bag and you can already see one side of the bow and I thought oh my gosh how easy is that oh my gosh <laughs> so you're gonna fill these up with the pom-poms no 
you're not gonna do that. You're gonna cut them first. You're gonna cut them first. Sometimes my brain is like moving in a million miles an hour and I skip ahead. I skip ahead, but that's just me. Sorry. Here we go. See? Now you're gonna take your pom poms. I got this, I don't know how many is that in, a hundred or something. And I picked out one of each color. I picked these because they're kind of like the primary colors, you know. You need red, and you need pink. Well, pink really isn't a primary color, but still. So then you're gonna stick it inside the bag, just like this, just one of each color. You don't wanna fill it up too much. I, I don't want it to be too full because I want the pom-poms to have a little bit of movement. And so you can already see one side of that bow is coming together. Man, that is so cute. You're gonna do that to the other side. I've got a little paper plate here because you're not gonna wanna get glue on your table, but you're gonna overlap these two little bags that you've cut and you've filled with, actually you're gonna do this first, Put a little stripe of glue on here. See what I mean by my brain is jumbled? I'm just, I'm always skipping steps. Always skipping. And then overlap the bags. Let it cool just for a second or else you're gonna get your fingers up in there, up in that heat and burn them. <laughs> okay. okay, let's peel it off here. Okay, so now they're stuck together. Don't worry about what it looks like because we're going to make a bow out of this and you're gonna cover it with some fabric anyway. So don't be too picky. Now add just a little bit more glue. And now we're gonna do a little accordion fold with our bow. And you just kind of pinch it in the center. See, there we go. You could stop right there. Just stop right there. Where's our grape soda pin? Stick it in the center. Call it a bow, call it a night, boom, done bow drop. We're getting ready to assemble this and I've cut out a rectangle of the fabric and that's going to act as um, a little wrap around the bow here to just to kind of finish it off and also it's going to attach it to the headband. Now I wanted to give a little variation to my other ears. I made a little bow for this. Um, right now it's just a rectangle. Literally all I did was take a rectangle of fabric and hot glue it together to get this here. You can see um, I've just kind of finished the seams in the back. I'm gonna do a little accordion fold with this as well to make a bow. And um, I'm gonna just show you how to do this because this is basically the same technique. So you just set it down. You're just gonna add some hot glue down the edge here just so you can finish the edges. Gosh, this hot glue gun just holds in nothing, I tell you. Um, yep, just fold all the edges in just to make it clean without having to sew. Strip, 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 strip. I'm gonna put a strip here too, so I'm gonna fold it up. Like I said, you're just gonna make like a rectangle shape. Hold it into itself here. Not much to look at right now, but once you wrap it around the bow, you won't be able to tell. We've got our completed ears right here. We've glued the two little figure eight shapes on here. We've got the bow that we've made. We got the second bow that I've made. And then I have another strip of fabric that's gonna go around both bows attach them and secure them to the headband. And then we have our adorable little grape soda pin, the Ellie badge. Do I have this upside down? No. I got this at, I do believe Hot Topic or Box, Box Lunch. Box Lunch and Hot Topic are owned by the same company. So that's why sometimes you see the same merch at both stores. So the Ellie badge is essential to our ears. Who didn't ball like a baby? The very end, when Carl gives Russell the patented Ellie badge, it's like one of the best scenes in any Disney movie. And I, I don't think anybody would argue with me on that one. Woo, that gets the feels, that one does, the feels. Okay, here we go. Let's assemble this puppy. I'm gonna start by putting just a little hot glue at the bottom of my bow 
I'm gonna attach it in the center and this is just to make this thing behave and hold still on me. Okay, it's already coming together. It's so cute. If you guys don't think this is cute, I don't know what to tell you. A little dab of glue on each side, just in the corners, just to hold these bows still, just to hold this bow still. Now let's make a little accordion fold and pinch this puppy together here, just to keep it. I just want to see what it looked like with another little bow in the center. I think it's going to be cute. Seam side down. My gosh, the strings of this, I just can't stand it. All right. Just gonna eyeball this. It's like in another league, like with the word flap, eyeball. I'm just gonna eyeball this. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go, here's where we're at so far. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay, start here, glue it here. Now you wanna wrap this underneath the headband because we wanna secure these to the headband. We don't want them flopping around. Flapping around, rather. It's the word of the day. Flap. Glue it. Get that seam underneath because then it'll be covered up when you wear it. Oh, girls. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, now we're gonna stick that grape soda pin right to the center. You can glue it if you want to, but I kind of don't want to commit to that, you know? What if you want to put this grape soda pin like on your purse or something? Yes! Yes! This is so cute! Here's a better look at the final product. Thank you for sticking with me and this insanely long video. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. I love these DIYs. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, Disney fans.